This video is sponsored by Epidemic Sound. Ahoy, this is Zdenka. I went through all smartphone filmmaking tutorials I've created on this channel in the past to help you to find the most cinematic and creative shots with your smartphone, whether you're filming handheld or with a gimbal. 20 tips with many visual examples so you can achieve the same. We all know a typical panning shot revealing a beautiful location or typical walking forward shot revealing a beautiful location. Well, what if we select an okay location like this one and surprise your audience with backing up, revealing even a more interesting object? filming with a gimbal, make sure you are using tilt lock mode. That way the camera is not going to move up and down. Make sure the horizon is leveled up and then slowly back up while you are filming with ultra wide angle lens or wide lens. The first clip coming up was filmed during the day, if not closer to midday, actually. Sunny day, the worst light possible, especially if you film in the woods. To get the most cinematic shots, you will need to start getting picky about the light. That's one of the reasons I get up before sunrise. Or I aim for a foggy day. If I want to film during the day, then I check the Storm Raider app to find out which next day is going to be overcast. Or I head out later on in the afternoon, just before the sunset. Pay attention to the time of the day, the weather and the light. It will make an enormous difference. Perfect light is everything. A very eye-catching shot is if you can find a location which is symmetrical, balanced, filled like these two. If you are going to be filming as you are walking forward, use tilt lock mode on your gimbal and take advantage of leading lanes. If you're going to be filming, just a plain railing in the middle of the day, it's just going to be a plain railing. If you're going to be filming the same railing early in the morning or much later in the afternoon, shadows will be your best friend. Always look for shadows. It will add drama and extra shapes. Highly creative shots can be achieved with the help of reflection. This is the time when you don't want to use a CPL filter, keep it raw, look for puddles and lakes, go very low, close to the water, but not touching and certainly not dropping your phone into them. Be careful. Make sure the phone lens is as close to the water as possible for bigger impact. Mm -hmm. 
Other ideas would be mirrors, like this mirror on a car. It will give you a very different, surprising view. Does your phone have multiple lenses? Let's talk about the ultra wide angle lens. There are times when you want to shoot with ultra wide angle lens and there are times when you want to stay away from it because the closer the object gets to the ultra wide angle lens, it's going to look way bigger. So if you're going to be filming your girlfriend or wife, don't film with ultra wide angle lens. You can get creative if you get to tight spaces and structures with interesting shapes. Have you noticed the music and sounds in this video? When you pair a video with a perfect sound and perfect music, everything will stand out even more. One special thing about Music Service Epidemic Sound, which I use for all of my videos, is that you can not only download the final song, but you can actually also download stems and layer them up. Do you need only the beats? Do you need only the melody? Don't want those vocals in the song? Epidemic Sound gives you access to massive library. They own 100% of the music, so you don't have to worry that you receive copyright strike or takedown. And yes, you can use it on monetized channels as well. You can use it on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitch, and so on. The whole list is actually on their website. You can choose between personal and commercial plan. I've been with Epidemic Sound for numbers of years, and they always bring fresh music. If you sign up to Epidemic Sound by using my link below in a video description, you will receive a free one month trial. Any music you will use during the trial will remain safe and protected even if you cancel your subscription after your trial month is over. Thank you very much Epidemic Sound for making this video possible. Another lens which is quite important is telephoto lens. If you're going to be filming a close-up of an object just with a standard wide lens, you're not going to get the same result as if you were filming with a telephoto lens. Go as close to the object as possible, make sure it is in focus and lock the focus. The background will end up nice and blurry, very pleasant to an eye, and your object will certainly stand out. When the sun gets low enough, whenever you can, film against the sun. If you're going to be filming a close-up of an object when the sun will be in your back, almost always it's going to look flat when you're filming with a smartphone. And if you're going to be filming against the sun and get those light streaks, If you're going to be standing in the middle of the field with nothing, it's just going to be very plain shot. If you're going to position yourself on the street, in the middle of the path or close to the railing and start walking forward, you will take advantage of leading lanes. It will draw you in the center of the frame. It will look very dramatic. Look for those leading lanes. Instead of 
making sure that your background in nice and blurry when you are filming an object, reverse it. You can have your foreground blurry and everything in the back nice and sharp. You can achieve that if you are filming with telephoto lens. Tap on the screen to make sure your object is sharp, is in focus, lock it, and then move sideways. Till lock mode is on the gimbal, you will add a candid feel if you film a person. If you are filming a location where all the main objects are sort of on just one lane, you might want to think about making it more interesting, like for example, by shooting through something, like shooting through grass. But if you find a location which has multiple lanes of objects, you won't have to really do much. For example, this location. Notice the first tree line, then the path, then railing, then water, then island, and then water again. We are all used to seeing everything from my eye level and it's normal to us, but bring the smartphone a little bit higher with the help of monopod like to a tree crown in the fall and suddenly you're going to be staring at beautiful colorful leaves and sun shining through. A simple shot of a scene where you're walking forward with your smartphone and the gimbal on a monopod high in the air, filming with an ultra-wide angle lens can give an impression that you were actually using a drone. We are going to stay with monopod and ultra-wide angle lens for some more. Make sure you are standing on the highest spot possible and below you is a nice deep view. Start very low and bring it slowly high in the air. If you are using gimbal, make sure you are using all follow mode. Second shot shows a very similar situation. I purposely positioned myself as high as I could above my friend Martina. Ultra wide angle lens will make the shot look super high. For shots like these, use tilt lock mode, position your smartphone filming straight down and just lift off. So far we have seen some low angle shots and some very high shots, but we haven't looked straight up yet and we miss many interesting opportunities, like very interesting ceiling or just a plain tree crown. Look up. And by all means, you can achieve a very similar result by filming flowers below them pointing up. I hope your back is strong because you're gonna bend it a lot. Just like filming a reflection, get very close to the ground, as close to the possible and move forward or to the side. This is great for filming frozen beaches or plants or grass or little puppies or babies crawling on four. Do you ever see a wooden structure or gazebo or any other structure like that? Make sure you do at least one walking through shot. Ultra wide angle lens will make it look all moving around and spaced out. It will create a very full frame. Another interesting view you get is by looking directly overhead. 
We cannot just randomly climb up to see how it looks like from there, so you have a guarantee for an eye-catching shot. If you want to reveal a stunning location with an impact, look for a starting point such as a boring dirt, broken wall, rocks, grass, something very plain. Colorful contrasts stimulate our brains. There's just something about them. Look for big, bold objects which are bright and colorful. Choose contrasty scenes. Once you feel comfortable, it's just basic moves then you can start adding combination moves and very unusual moves like these. I'm going to link a playlist to all smartphone filmmaking tutorials I've made below the video in the video description. More tutorials are coming up, so don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're not subscribed already. Hit the thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below which tip was your favorite one. See you in the next video. Ciao, ahoy!